Hey, hey, it's time to play. I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, I went to um, several Dollar Trees out of town and I discovered a brand new Dollar Tree that had a lot of great stuff. Um, actually, I found so much stuff that I am going to split my haul into um, two or three hauls. <clears throat> and I had already gone to Dollar Tree here in town. But um, the good news is I found out that the place with the new Dollar Tree actually had two other ones that, that I did not know about. So I have four there that I can shop at. But um, I was really happy with it. Um, it had high ratings and I could see why once I went in because there were lots of uh, cool things in there. So I have some of the things from there to show you and some of the things from the other Dollar Tree that I go to there sometimes, and um, some from here at home. So, um, I'm going to get started, <clears throat> and I'm just going to pull the bag and see what's in it. And I got um, some black raspberry sparkling ice. I love that. That's such a good taste. So, I got one of those. <clears throat> And I did finally find some more Yardley soap. Um, not soap. Um, <laughs> Yardley hand lotion in the Berry Blossom. If you will remember, I gave my mom the other one for Valentine's. The put in, you know, I put it in her Valentine's package. And so um, I wanted this particular scent for myself. And the store didn't have any here, but I found it um, out of town. <clears throat> and I found this. I don't know how long it's been around. Um, it could be that it's been there for a few weeks, but it's the Bolero Men's Aftershave Lotion in sandalwood. I mean, excuse me, cedarwood and sage. And it looks like that. I love the blue plaid on it and the black. I think it's really masculine and pretty and everything else <laughs> that's good plus it's bolero and so i'm going to smell it and check and see how it smells and i'm going to give that to my husband who's out of town with his poor mother who has cancer mm. oh that smells good it's got a very clean smell oh you want to smell it busy okay dog wanted to smell it. <laughs> yeah, that's very clean smelling. I think my husband will like that. Anyway, his mother is dying of cancer, and he is out of town with her, and um, as you can hear my voice, I'm still sick and had to stay home with the animals, and um, plus I didn't want to give her a cold. So, <clears throat> that's got a very nice clean scent, and I think that he would like that. So that's my first bag. And the second one, oops, fell out of the bag, but okay, never mind. Uh, the second bag, I got some more of the gallon, Glad gallon storage bags. I'm using those to sort my things for next year's Christmas boxes. I needed some more of these. I like to use those for washing dishes. So I got a couple of more of those. I found some more clearance stuff, which I've started checking every Dollar Tree in the book section to see what I can find, because you can find things mixed in sometimes that should have gone on clearance. So, I found um, <clears throat> two very cute Halloween uh, coloring books, one that looks like that. It's got really cute pictures. If you know a kid that likes Halloween and you find one of these should give it to them. But anyway, it's very cute, and um, it will be fine to send bo in boxes as long as, um, you know, I don't have witches, any witches in the book. If I do, I'll just pull those pages out. <clears throat> but anyway, I got that on clearance for 50 cents. And then I got this other jumbo coloring book, and it says it's Costume Cuties, and this one's just adorable. Very, very adorable little critters. And it's got some cute pictures. Really cute pictures to color. So 
I'm gonna be putting that in one of my boxes. Well, that witch will have to go, but <laughs> anyway, it's a very cute book and I got it for 50 cents. And the next thing I found, <clears throat> I bought this before and I think I've shown y'all this before, but I picked up another one of these. I really like getting the different colors that they have at the holidays. <clears throat> And I found something new in there that I've never seen. And I thought these were pretty neat. Um, they're just note notebooks by Jot. They look like this. And you got your regular line pages. But it's got this. It's got a little pocket inside. So you can put something in there. I mean, you could use this, write your grocery list in and then put your coupons inside here and um, store them in there. Um, you could, um, a kid could put little notes in here at school, like uh, what they have to do for homework, stick that in there. They could uh, take some notes inside. There's a lot of things to do with this. And um, I think I'm gonna keep one for myself. I got the black one and I like the pattern on it. It's really cute. I got the black one, and I got the pink one, the hot pink, and it's the same deal, lined paper, and little pouch. And I like that little pop of black on with the pink. I think that's really pretty. And the other colors they had, they had a, um, a gray and, um, oh goodness, what was the other color? Gray and, was it green? Might have been mint green. I'm not sure now. Gosh, I've forgotten. But um, I didn't really... No, it was purple. That's that's it. I started to get the purple one, but then I decided I liked the pink. I liked the black one with the pink one. And yeah, so I picked those up. <clears throat> that was bag number two. And sorry, y'all, for the way my voice sounds, but I just can't seem to shake this cold. I've had it for <clears throat> over two weeks now, and <clears throat> it's like settled in my throat and lungs, and it's just not going away. <clears throat> okay, my third bag. Um, I have been waiting to show this, but I should have shown it before because now everybody's beating me to it. <laughs> but <clears throat> I got the trims from um, Dollar Tree that are for Easter, and they have all of the little things. Pretty little Rick Rack, the cute little bunnies, which I love, and the pom-pom trim. So I got it in pink. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and I got it in yellow. I like the little ducks. That's very cute. Is it ducks or chicks? I guess it's little chicks. They're so cute. And I got it in purple. And the purple says Happy Easter. And I got it in orange. And the orange has the little carrots. So all four of them are so stinking cute, especially that middle row of trim. And that's a pretty good deal for $1.25. You get three different trims, and you've got a fair amount on there. And I think these would be great for pocket letters, for um, <clears throat> junk journals, for ATCs, for um, little uh, decor things you do in your house. Um, there are lots of things you could do with them. <clears throat> so, I was pleased to get all of those. Picked up some more staple toothpaste. Um, <laughs> cold and flu. Oh, gosh, y'all. <clears throat> I made the mistake of picking up some generic mucinix. The daytime and the nighttime. That stuff is the nastiest tasting stuff I think I have ever tasted medicine-wise. Don't ever buy it. Don't ever make the mistake of buying it. I bought it at um, Target, so it's the Target brand, and it's very, very bitter and nasty. It almost made me throw up. But um, anyway, that's TMI. Um, 
<clears throat> I much prefer Dayquil and my go-to is NyQuil at nighttime. I picked up some of these book rings, which I have bought many times before, and I'm sure everybody's seen them. And um, then after I got them and got home, I thought, why did I buy these? I can't remember what I wanted them for, but it was something very important. And I still haven't remembered what I wanted them for. That was several days ago. So I hope it'll come to me. I have used them before when I did tag flips and tag swaps. Um, and uh, so um, in the swaps, we would make a tag and send it to the other person. And uh, you had to do that. I think we did it for like a year and you get a new one every month. And so we put them on rings and stuff so you could just flip them and it was really cool. But these, that is not what I intended these for. I just can't remember what. <clears throat> I picked up this Hot Wheels um, TV series Batmobile because I thought that was really, really awesome. If I was a kid still, I would want that because I actually had Hot Wheels when I was a kid because um, I was a tomboy, so I had a lot of little cars and stuff like that, but I also had Barbies and baby dolls. And um, <clears throat> I loved that show when I was a kid. It's very corny, but <laughs> it's a really cute um, Batmobile. And I thought that if I did like a superhero theme in one of my boxes at Christmas, that I would put that in. Of course, I really like it myself. So <laughs> I might be tempted to keep it. <laughs> no, actually, I do have some Hot Wheels car cars, but... Um, I just um, collect the Miatas because one of my cars is a Miata. And so <laughs> I collect every Miata I see. <clears throat> okay. The next bag I got here in town. And I picked up one of the Easter, um, what do you call these? The bottle, tree, bottle scrubber trees or I don't know what they're called. Bottle something. But they had it in three shades, and I like this one. I'm going to put that either on my tear tray for Easter, or um, I'm going to decorate my little tr um, table in the foyer, and I'm going to put this on there. One of my things that I made for Easter last year, I don't think it's going to fit on my tear tray. It's going to be too tall, so it'll probably go on the table and... Um, yeah, I don't know if this will go there or not. <clears throat> and the next thing I got, um, I picked up some uh, the Valentine's pencils. I thought these were really cute because I want to do a space box. And there are space pencils. There are love pencils. There are sharp pencils. And there are... What is that? Is that superhero? I think it's superhero. I can't see in this light. Anyway, those are going to go in boxes. I thought they were very cute. And you get a lot of them. So I got that. I am doing a dinosaur box. And so I picked up one of the little um, fuzzy friends that they had out for Valentine's. The Stegosaurus. I think he's cute. So every child needs a little stuff in their box. And I picked him up. <clears throat> And the next thing I got, <laughs> I got another pack of that. <clears throat> and I hauled a pack of the table scatter, the 24-piece table scatter, which looks like this. And it's kind of hard to see what kind of pieces are in it, so I'm going to open it so we can see better. Um, well, that's pretty obvious. I have several of those. How many are there? There's three of those, and we have little hearts like that, and, oh, this is cute, whoops, just dropped something, um, the little lock shaped like a heart, and And three little small red hearts. They're that size. And 
Oh, it's got more in here than I thought. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it really does. It has um, arrows, little black arrows. It's got the key for the lock. <coughs> it's got, what else? Oh, I didn't even know this was in here. It's got um, a love. Yeah. So, there are a lot of different pieces. And I like the black and the red and the black and the pink together. So, let's see how many pieces. 24 pieces. And the next thing I got, um, I got one of these for my tear tray. I thought this was really cute. With the carrot hanging off the end and the green tassel. I'm going to put that, drape that somehow on my tear tray. Um, yeah. And I got some of the bunnies with their, the wooden bunnies. There's 12 of them with their butts showing. <laughs> the bunny butts. Those are very cute. And these would be great for ATCs and um, pocket letters or cards or just to make your little um, um, little decor pieces and um, use them on your tear tray somehow. Um, those are just really, really precious. <clears throat> and the next thing I got, um, I picked up some of this ribbon. Um, Let's see, I think I'm going to open it so y'all can see it better. If I can get it open. Ah. I tell you, my shoulder is hurting. My dog, I took the dogs out, and I had two on a leash in one hand, and they just took off running and just jerked my arm, and it hurt so bad. And it's still hurting. But I picked up the, um, the ribbon trim. With the little hearts on it. And that is so pretty. <clears throat> and there's a, um, yeah, a pretty good amount on there. I don't think you can see it very well, but there you go. And the next thing in this bag, or the last thing in this bag, um, I picked this up for one of my boxes because I thought it was a great decor piece. A little unicorn. That is very, very cute, a little wooden unicorn. I love the flowers in the center. Um, I just love how sturdy it is. It's not something that's just gonna fall over easily. And I like the way they painted part of it, the mane and the horn. And um, I just think it's just very cute. They had this, um, they had an owl, they had a butterfly, and it seems like there was a fourth one. Um, I'm pretty sure there was a fourth one as well. I knew I would forget it. <laughs> but anyway, um, that is just really gorgeous. That'd be great in an Easter basket. Um, give it to somebody as a little, I love you, I'm thinking of you, little present. Um, something like that. Really cute. <clears throat> I hope you guys are doing well. I hope nobody has this rotten cold that I have. It's kind of been going around um, from what I've heard. Lots of people have had it. But most people seem to get over it by about two weeks. And I will be very glad to get rid of it myself. <clears throat> i tell you one good thing about being home when everybody's out. <laughs> is you can play the music as loud as you want. You can... Uh, watch everything you want on TV. You can eat what you want. You don't have to cook. It's just, uh, I kind of love it. I just hate that, you know, my husband's away because of the reason he's away. But, um, yeah, it is, you know, it's kind of nice. <laughs> and the next bag, I found some more books in the book section. So I got these all on clearance. I found this Christmas one, which is really cute. Um, it's got 
coloring pages, design a sweater. It's got um, where you can write a little letter to Santa, um, all kinds of stuff. And on the back, it's got uh, where you can make a paper snow globe. It's just kind of cute little activity for the kid to do. So I'm saving that for Christmas time. And I found a sticker by number activity book, trick or treat. <clears throat> I thought that was cute. I absolutely love Halloween. And it looks like this. You get your pages and you get all the stickers. And of course she'll have to come out, but that's okay. There are other pictures to make. As long as they aren't too scary, you can send Halloween things. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. And I found another one that's a Halloween night sticker face. And so, it looks like that. And like that on the back. And with this one, it gives you your stickers and the little character. And you get to put whatever facial features on that you want to put on and I think that's really cute. That would be fun for a child to do. Heck, it'd be fun for me to do. <laughs> oh, really, really cute. And the next one I got, <clears throat> I found another spooky sticker face. And it looks like this. Looks like that on the back. And... Oh, that's a pump. I was trying to figure out what that was. That's a pumpkin. It's a misshapen pumpkin. But you put a little face on. And, yeah. Same deal as the last one. Is that a spider? Well, I guess it's... Oh, I guess it is. Yeah, it is a spider. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then the last one, Spooky Princess Sticker Face. And, um... <clears throat> It looks like this. It's pretty cool. She's got crowns. and well, Look at the vampire teeth. I like her little crowns. And her little eyes with her um, eyeshadow and mascara and all that stuff. So that one's cute. Really cute for a girl. <clears throat> so that's all of those. And the next thing I found... Um, oh, I don't know if I said I got all of these for 50 cents. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the next thing I found, um, I think is um, brand new because I haven't seen it. It's all by Bolero, which we all know is not a Dollar Tree brand. And the packaging is just stunning. It's body scrub, um, warm vanilla plus peppermint. It looks like that. That is absolutely beautiful packaging. I love it. I love the blue. I love the flowers. The touch of, um, is it yellow? Yellow and purple and, um, yeah. Warm vanilla and peppermint. And I have, oops, I haven't taken the things off. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I'm not sure I'm going to do that because I may give it <clears throat> its gifts. But these would be great in a gift basket for uh, a birthday present, a care package, um, for Valentine's Day, any kind of thing where you need to give somebody a gift or keep it for yourself. Um, so we got warm vanilla and peppermint. They had frosted citrus and pomegranate. Look at how pretty that is. The colors are so vibrant and it's just lovely. I think it's awesome. And then they have um, cranberry and white tea. Looks like that. Beautiful. And then the, oh, sorry, something in my eye. Mm. The last one is spiced orange and cinnamon. And I can guess from the scents, even though I can't smell them yet, that I will probably like the spiced orange and cinnamon the best. Because I love cinnamon. I love oranges. Orange anything. And that is gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. 
Dollar Tree just keeps getting better and better. Just when you think that they have done it all, they get something else that's stunning. Look at that. Those are fabulous. That'd be great as a gift for somebody. Yeah. So if you see these, pick them up. I imagine these will go very, very quickly. And um, I'm excited to try one of them. I'll probably give my mom some or maybe my daughter-in-law or my husband's uh, my husband. My son's fiance. <laughs> or something like that. <clears throat> we'll see. <clears throat> and the last bag I'm going to show you in this haul. Um, I got quite a bit of stuff in here. I, um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I picked up some rub-on transfers. Um, I tried these when I was a kid, and um, they weren't from Dollar Tree, because Dollar Tree wasn't around back then, to my knowledge. But... <laughs> Anyway, I tried them when I was a kid, and I thought they were kind of hit or miss, you know. Sometimes you get all of it rubbed off perfectly. Sometimes part of it would come off. Some of them, sometimes part of it would stick. But anyway, I've seen a lot of people use these lately, and so I decided I'd get some and use them in some of my crafting projects. Probably a junk journal. I think these would look really, really pretty, and I love the... um. um the leaves. Just love those. It's one of my favorite things. So I'm going to try them out and see if they work well. <clears throat> and the next thing I got, I got some of the little bunnies, little felt sticker bunnies. You get eight in a pack. And I think that I have bought these before, like several years ago. If not, something very, very similar. But those are cute. <clears throat> and I got the um, um, carrots, felt carrots. Those are cute. And I don't think I've ever gotten those before. And oddly, for some reason, you get nine of those and you get eight of the bunnies. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how they do their stuff. And let's see. Um, oh. I picked up the, like a blind bag, one of the puppy in my pockets, and after I left the store, this was the one that was out of town, the one that was really nice. I wish I'd bought more of these to put in my boxes because this was really cute. It's kind of um, small to pay $1.25 for, so um, I just got one, but I kind of wish I'd gotten a couple more, and especially since I saw when I got home that one's a Yorkshire Terrier. And I have a Yorkie. But anyway, I got a uh, Madison. And she looks like a little ballerina puppy. And she looks like that. She's so cute. Look at that. She's got a little tutu and a little thing on her head. And she actually feels kind of, um, she feels velvety. And I think a little child would love to play with that. So I want to get some more of these. The packaging looks like that, in case you see anything similar. They had them for cats as well, but um, I like dogs, so I picked up one of those. <clears throat> and if I was a little kid, I would want every one of them. Those little miniature things are so cute. <clears throat> and the next thing I got, um, I got some clips. Um, because I am running out of them, and they uh, break all the time. And so I just picked up a six-pack, what did they say? Blame the sugar, eat, sleep, repeat, and binge-worthy. So pick those up. Those actually look like they wouldn't break as easily as some of the others at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to try them. <clears throat> um, I found this in the... Um, hair section and this one was new to me there was another shape but i didn't like that one it was squarish and there were like two bars and it was uh open in the center so i didn't like that one but i did like that i think that's very very pretty and yeah um i'll probably give this to my mom because i don't usually wear a whole lot of that stuff in my hair i do when i go to the beach on vacation i wear more of it but usually 
I don't wear much, but that is a stunning clip. Really, really pretty. <clears throat> and the next thing I got, um, oops, that's supposed to be in another bag. Okay, next thing I got in the sticker section, you know I've talked about they haven't had many stickers lately um, that are new, but I found these, and these I think are new because I haven't seen them before. I don't usually like to get puffy stickers, but these were quite unusual looking, so I picked them up. I love the flowers in the vases. I think that's very cute, and believe in yourself. So I picked those up, and oh, I love that one too, the single stem one. That's great. So that was a new package, and they actually had um, um, a summer version. Well, it wasn't like the summer flowers or whatever, but it was a summer set and um, <clears throat> another set that I didn't like. But um, yeah, I thought those were really pretty. There goes a dog. I think a dog's walking by in the neighborhood. Barking. And so they got a bark. Let's give a moment of silence. Leave it. No one there. Moving on. I picked up a book because sometimes I occasionally book, get a book there. Um, a lot of the books at Dollar Tree are um, part of a series like the second or third. Hush! Cut it! So I don't like to get them if they're like that because the odds of finding the others kind of slim and um, I don't want to pay 17 or 18, 20 dollars for a book. Um, after I've gotten used to thrift stores and stuff like that and used bookstores, I just refuse to pay that. <clears throat> Unless it's something really, really special. But anyway, I found this one called Invisible Ghosts. And it says, what's past is past. Well, sometimes. And it looks like that. And it was previously... Previously... I can get this all the way off. Why'd they have to put these over the price? Okay, it was previously $18. So, an expensive book, which we know Dollar Tree has. But um, <clears throat> I thought it sounded really good. Um, it says, uh, Rose Asher believes in weird omens. She also believes in ghosts since she has one for a best friend. That would be Logan, her annoying Netflix addicted brother who is forever stuck at 15. Rose is happy spending all her time with Logan until an old friend moves back to Laguna Canyon and turns up in her drama class. Um, <clears throat> Jamie Aldridge is charming, confident, and a painful reminder of the life Rose has been missing out on since her brother's death. She watches as uh, Jamie easily rejoins their former friends, a group of magnificent, magnificently silly theater nerds, while avoiding her so intensely that it must be deliberate. deliberate. Um, yet when the two of them unexpectedly cross paths, Rose learns that Jamie has a secret of his own, one that changes everything. Rose finds herself drawn back into her old life and to Jamie, but she quickly starts to suspect that he's, he isn't telling her the whole truth. All Rose knows is that it's becoming harder to choose between the boy she make, who makes her feel alive and the brother she isn't ready to lose. Um, so that sounds good. It sounds like it could also um, have sad parts in it, but... Um, yeah, I'm going to read that. <clears throat> and the next thing I got, oh, this just blew me away. In the gardening section, they had these wooden animal picks. Would you look at that? A hedgehog! 
I just about died. I almost screamed in the store. I know I kind of squealed out loud. And um, you get four in every package. And um, I'm not going to put them out in my garden in the yard. I'm going to put them on my deck in my flower pots. And to keep them from deteriorating, I think I'm going to um, probably put, I'm going to paint them probably and put some Mod Podge or something like that on them. And I'm going to stick that down into my plants. And I might possibly on the back put a little card that I laminate, just a small one that says what's planted there. I may do that. But they had these, and they had frogs, they had birds, they had mushrooms, um, <clears throat> they had ladybugs, I believe. Um, they had probably six different kinds, maybe eight. But, of course, having had a hedgehog, the hedgehog is what I brought home. And I am so sorry, and I'm kicking myself now that I did not pick up more of these because my store does not have them and probably won't get them and um, these will go fast. So if you're interested in anything like that, you better pick them up. <clears throat> Actually, if you wanted to, you could take one and um, use it as a bookmark because it's long enough. And so, yeah, I was really pleased to find this and very excited. And the next thing I found, um, I'm kind of jumping all over the place. I found this, and this was beautiful. It says, Cotton Tail and Company Egg Farm, Hippity Hoppity Lane, One Mile Ahead, Egg Hunts Daily. Look at this cutting board. Is that not stunning? That is so beautiful. And I love the fact that they made it look like a cutting board and you've got this separate layer, I don't know if you can tell, raised up for the center section and it's got the middle like nails, nails. And um, yeah, I think that is stunning. I love the, the way they painted it and I just don't see anything about it that I don't like. And I can't wait to put this up on my um, Easter table. That is really awesome. And if you see this, you better run out and get it. Um, I mean, you better get it. If you like it and you haven't been to Dollar Tree, you better get to Dollar Tree and go pick one of these up. Because I imagine that this is one of, going to be one of the signs that disappears the fastest. So there you go. Don't say I didn't warn you. And <clears throat> the next thing I got in this bag was, I've got plenty of candles, but I decided to pick up some more. The five-hour emergency candles, you get six in a package. And that's a good deal. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> They're unscented, which is nice. And the reason I got them is because I found this. Now, I think that that is brand new in Dollar Tree. I have never seen that. They had it in black and in gold. I didn't like the gold. I preferred the black. The black is very chic looking. And let me show you. <clears throat> The emergency candle fits in it perfectly. Look at that. So if your power goes out, you can light that and set it somewhere, or you can walk around with it if you need to. And as long as you don't have uh, a breeze blowing it back on your hand, you should be fine. But it's um, very steady, sturdy. It doesn't feel like it would tip easily. Um, yeah, and looks, looks like that, but like I said, they have it in black and gold, and I really like the black, and so I thought that's a pretty nifty thing to have. I've never seen that before. 
where it has a little handle. So you might want to go find these. <clears throat> and y'all, that is all I'm going to show you on this haul. Like I said, I have a lot more stuff to show. Um, I'm starting to feel like I'm going to cough and I need to get off of here and get myself a drink. And um, I'm going to film another video of some more Dollar Tree stuff. And I have a video that I'm going to do of um, um, some of my next um, junk journal that I'm going to be making. It's from a um, Little Golden Book. And it's a princess one. And if you are interested in seeing uh, what papers I've picked out and how I've put those, decided where I want to put those in my signatures and how I've deconstructed the um, little golden book, you might want to um, check that video out. Um, so that will probably come out um, Wednesday or Thursday if you want to check that and if not you can just watch the next dollar tree haul and i appreciate you guys being here i hope everybody's doing great and i love you i hope you're uh having a good time wherever you are you're safe you're well and um if you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to leave me a comment i answer all my comments and um if you'd like to subscribe if you haven't subscribed I would really appreciate that as well, and um, I will see you guys later. Bye.